very good evening, my lady and gentlemen. My name's Clive, I'm the a magical waiter, and welcome to the famous Grasshopper restaurant. May I just put those down there? Did you order red or black? Red, good choice, good choice. I'd like to show you the fastest trick. Fastest trick there is. Now watch this carefully. Here we are, the fastest production of four aces that you will see. Two stunned to a broad. Don't worry, I didn't clap the first time I saw that. Don't worry. Before your very eyes, ladies and gentlemen, we had one, two, three, four aces. Don't tell anyone how it's done, will you? What shall I say? Shay, Sue, my great uncle Monty used to be a waiter here many years ago. And he used to, if the management wasn't around, like to have a dabble with certain punters. Do you like a gamble? Shane? Yeah. What about you? Yeah, and you? Wonderful. Now, Uncle Monty <coughs> was what we called a bottom dealer. Do you know what a bottom dealer is? Ah, yeah, the clue was in it, wasn't it? Now, what I want you to do is just watch, because he had his cards upside down, upside up. And I want you to count them ever so carefully, because he called this the lucky seven. So we get one, two, three, four cards. Now, what I want you to do is remember a card. Do you remember a card for me? Remember that card? Yeah. Now what I want you to do with your hand is just hold it like this and I'm going to place it, hold it face down because you've got a bet on it. And that leaves us with how many cards? Three. Three. Absolutely lot. Would you like to remember a card? Okay. And now this is the card that you have to remember. Don't forget that. It could be your lucky card. Okay. Take that. And now you've got to remember a card as well, so what one should I give you to remember? Keep it down like that. Now, this is where you have to bet. Are you confident you know what you've got? You are, of course you are. You're intellectual, well-balanced people, aren't you? You don't believe in the magical goings on, do you? But let me tell you, one of us is holding an ace. And this is where he put his car keys on the table. And all you had to do, sir, was put five pounds on to bet whether you thought you had the ace or a seven. What would you do as a gambler? I'd say yes, I'd say seven. <laughs> what would you do? Yeah, okay, don't let, we are all winners tonight. Let's all turn our cards over together to face the camera and you'll see we are all aces. Thank you very much. Thank you. properties. Oh yes they do. If we put them together like this, the cards can actually manipulate themselves. Would you believe that? Of course you would. Of course you would. I've got you convinced. Now this is what happens. It's done by weight and I'm going to teach you how to control the cards. Millions are lost on the aces every single minute in the world. Not these particular ones. So if you could control them, you'd win a lot of money. And it's the way. Put your hand out like that, sir. Now what I want to do is just get you to feel the weight of that one, okay? Now put your thumb on top of it there. Feel that one? Now if that's the heaviest black ace, what would be the lightest black ace? Give me a clue. Yeah, absolutely right. Could I make a cross there? There we go. Put that one there. Now sir, put your hand out like this, and you take those ones. Now watch this with a magical and mystical wave. I can make the spade jump on top, and it's there on top, if you believe. Now this is the hard bit, I'm going to make it go back underneath again. <laughs> now while I had you captured there, I actually moved the black cards over there. Would you bet that I did? Yes. Absolutely you would, because you believe in magic, don't you sir? Thank you. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. That young man is using sleight of hand. 
Where you are, aren't you? Let me take it beyond all reasonable doubt now. All reasonable doubt. I'm going to place the cards in the pack like this. Sir, so would you pick up the heart and pop it in there? And the club. Pop it in there. And the diamond. Pop it in there. Now, can you see the cards are in there? They're going in. I'm not controlling these at all, am I? Can you see there is no manipulation at all? I'm going to put them in this wine glass whilst the aces are still up. I can't control them now, can I? You like that, didn't you? <laughs> now look at this. The only way that I can control these cards, look how awkward and clumsy it is. Let me get right next to you. See, I can take a card from the back there and put it in like that. Would you agree? But you can see my hand come right up like that. Now what's the most powerful card? Joker's just gone through the front there. The most powerful card comes out first, and that's the spade. It always jumps to the front first. Thank you very much. Okay, we're putting him at the back now. Now, what's the opposite? That's the danger, the dark side. So you look like a romantic shape. Is that true? No, you're a how you I did pick that up. Okay, and then watch us right next to you here. Away we go. With the heart, it just jumps from the pack like this. Now what we're going to do, we're going to separate the power. If you split the aces, I'm going to put them in my pocket like that there. If you split the aces, they lose their power. Will the club be able to get to the front? So do you like it fast or slow? There he is. Too stunned to applaud this time. And he pull it off for the fourth time, what do you reckon? There we go. Okay. Faster or slow? Slow. Slow? Now. Aces in my pocket now. Did you see me put them in there? You did. I cover them like this. the top. How many aces are back? Three. One last one. Only remains one question, ladies and gentlemen. You've seen these aces transform, you've seen them change places. Beyond my control, there's been someone here. You want to know. You want to put your hand in my pocket, don't you? <laughs> you do, I can tell. Do you want me to let you? 
and then they think it's funny to show everyone the pocket. Hey, Clive. I'll do this later. Do you want to say it again? Here we go. Is there anything suspicious about these cards, sir? They're blank. They're art of concealment, you see. All white.